dynamics, good rhythm, accuracy, good sound. They're all wonderful things that can make your playing better. I want to also talk about something called articulation. Remember when we talked about tonguing? Well, tonguing is really the basis for most articulations. There are four main types of articulation. Staccato, legato, accents, and slurring. Let's talk about each one. We're going to start with staccato. Staccato means very short articulation. It's notated with a small dot over a note. To get staccato, we need to tongue the reed, and we're going to keep the tongue on slightly longer so that the sound is actually shorter. This will make the notes very short. Here's an example of a scale played staccato. Notice that all of these notes are very short. So I'm using the tongue, not huffing, but a constant stream of air and tonguing to make that short note. The opposite of staccato is legato. And when we see a line over a note, that is how legato is indicated. And what that means is we're using very little tongue on the reed, just at the very beginning of the note. This will keep the notes longer, legato. Here's an example of that same scale, played legato. <laughs> So I'm tonguing each note, but using very little amount of tongue so that the notes remain longer. Next, there are accents. And an accent is symbolized by what looks like a greater than sign. And an accent is a strong beginning to the note, or what we call a strong accent and it's produced by tonguing the beginning of the note and using a lot of air as well. So the note has a much stronger beginning. Here's a scale accented. So again, I'm tonguing each note, but also adding some air on the beginning of each note to produce that stronger accent. The last type of articulation we're going to talk about is slurring, or what we call a slur. And that's notated by a group of notes under a long line. And for slurring, we don't need to use any tongue at all. The line indicates how many notes we go before we use the tongue again. So if I want to slur that whole scale, it sounds like this. Slurring is the smoothest type of articulation because we're not using any tongue, we're not stopping the vibrations of the reed at all, we are just using continuous air to get that smooth sound. So just to go over these again, staccato, short, 
Legato, longer. Accents with a strong beginning. And slurring, very smooth. Just like dynamics, good sound, and everything else, articulations can help you sound more professional and become a better player. Each piece will call for different articulations. You'll have to look for those little symbols to know which one to use. Also, just like dynamics, you wouldn't want to play a lullaby staccato. You would want to play it legato, or maybe under a slur, where a fanfare or a march would probably be played more accented or staccato.